Hey everybody, Arnold Offerman here of Gear It First, and we just got done dealing with Hurricane Irma. For some of us, like myself, we were without electricity for three days. Thank God for a generator. Some of us, or as other people, were out for almost over a week. Actually, some people still don't have power. And despite all the preparation and everything else, it really came down to these fans are just no good without huh, electricity. So if you guys remember a while back, I did a review on this really cool laptop stand for my MacBook that I have on my desk by a company called Vogag. I think I said that, right? Well, I checked on their Amazon page because they always have some pretty interesting things. And I saw this USB powered. It's a battery operated fan. So I got this, of course, after the hurricane. Where the heck was this thing? Or my idea to buy one of these before the hurricane. Went ahead and decided to check it out. It's a... Cheap little fan, I think it was like 13 bucks shipped. So I wasn't expecting much. I just needed some air to basically cool us down. What I did not expect was this powerhouse of a fan. This thing is ridiculous. I'm not even going to lie. I was very surprised. So here's in the box. Nothing insanely impressive. It's a box for a fan. So why am I doing a review on it? Well, because it's powerful. Check this out. We're going to touch it here. It's got three little speed settings. And it is, it's actually pretty damn windy. I can feel the wind. Oh, thanks, cat. There we go. It wouldn't be a review video without a cat. So I can still feel the air. I can still feel the air. I can still feel the air. I can still feel it. I can still feel it. I can still feel it. And, yep, still feeling it. Now, what's cool about this fan, though, is I can move it almost all the way around. So it's kind of hard with one hand. But there it goes. Now, it does have, thank you. All right, so there we go. We're going to put it back into the full speed mode. It charges with a micro USB cable that's included. What is not included is what your USB cable plugs into. So I'm using an old iPhone charger that my USB cable is plugged in through. You can plug it into your computer. Now, one of the things is when you plug it in, the speed does go down while it's charging. So if you want that max full speed, then you're definitely going to want to make sure that you have your battery fully charged. To give you a comparison, this is one of the electric fans that I bought from Walmart with the metal blades. And I mean, it's not even a comparison. This guy here, I feel the air, I feel the air, I feel the air. And right there, I'm not feeling it anymore. I mean, it just, it pales in comparison to this guy right here. Now, according to the website, I want to say you get about 4 to 13 hours. So I'm guessing it's 4 hours at full, 13 hours at even low speed. But even low speed on this beats the speed on this guy so I i'm super impressed color be impressed i think you'll like it too check the link out below this is an awesome product yes it's a fan it's a battery powered fan but i don't have to worry about triple a's it does last a heck of a long time and it puts out a lot of wind so this is perfect obviously for home office travel but if you're like me and you're a dj you're an event and it's hot this is nice to have something like this that you can just quickly put. It's small. It'll sit anywhere. You can rest it against, you know, your gear if you need to, and you are good to go. Check the link out below. Arnaldo Wofferman, gear it first. As always, thanks for watching. Yeah, he's a cool cat. Cool cat. Cool cat, because he's getting cool by the fan. Cool cat.